Hello, welcome again to my channel. This is going to be my second tutorial on, on how to make your own CCS chat from my Streamlabs. And I decided to make this one because many people have been asking me, I want to do it, but I don't understand how to use CCS chat. So I made a custom menu for you guys. So let's che check this with me. So, well, let's first, let's test it. Here is my chat. Uh, there is a few things I changed it from the last one. The most important thing is that I added a custom uh, JavaScript, a, a script from JavaScript. So now when you type more messages than one, it has a nice animation scroll in it, as you can see. Now it doesn't just pop out from from nothing, right? It goes up automatically. So let me show you, you guys how to use my new menu. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to enter to my Discord channel and you go to custom CCS and HTML and I will put the updated files here and I will try to uh, not talk about code and make the most user-friendly video and interface possible. So, you will have to do that for files. It's going to be this one. The HTML Streamlabs Tutorial, CCS Streamlabs Tutorial, GS is for JavaScript Streamlabs Tutorial, and it's just a text file. It's the custom field Streamlabs Tutorial. So, I recommend to you, you have Visual Code Studio, or Notepad++, or you can just copy and paste the text. Let's start. As you can see, you have over here the normal chat. So you have to go all the way to the bottom. And here you have to put enable custom HTML. So let's just copy and paste. First this one. HTML done, the CCS code, done, this is the <laughs> one of the new things I made, well I investigated and adapted from another one where it states, but I changed a little of things too, and you go over here, grab all of this, control copy, here add custom fields, oh my avatar is over there, let me, let me turn it up a little, there you go, here you have to go to add custom fields, alright, so add custom fields, Let's save it. Refresh. Okay, as you can see, it's already changed. So, the last thing is you go over here. Now that you have saved it, you have this button. Edit custom fields. You push it and delete this one and put the code. And update. And save the settings. And as you can see, you have already have this one. Now I'm going to explain how to use the custom menu I made. So, from the custom menu I just made, let's. Well, you have to ignore all of this. I'll ignore all of this. And this is now your new menu, the username options. Ah, uh, well, custom fields, all of this. I decided to make this one because, well, I see a lot of YouTubers that you have your code over here, but they never update it for some reason, I don't know. And I wanted to make it the most user friendly, so I don't have to tell you, you have to go to the line of code 46 and change this one, and no, you have all here. Um, but. If you want to change it a little bit more, I will put you my first tutorial so you can learn how 
or to change a little bit of the inside the code. But well, as you can see, the first update I made from my latest video from the CCS is the you have you you know can pick of all of these Google fonts, <laughs> but you can pick over here and you can select this one and you're going to change over here. You can change the color, the font size, and this is normal. <laughs> when you start to, start to move anything uh, too quickly, you have to save it here and refresh it. And as you can see, now we, now it's not worked. But let's try to make a little, a nicer one. So it doesn't look so, so ugly this one. So first, let's make this one a uh, custom fields. I like the Roboto. I like this one because it's the one that, um, how do you say it? Um, all the smart smartphones of Google uses. This font because it's the the one that is the most is easy to read because it hmm, uh, the least pixels you have you can read it. I have tried this one because I made in uh, sometime in my college I made some uh, virtual reality app and I used uh, this font a lot because you have a little bit of pixels. In when you try to use virtual reality in a in the smartphone, but well, um, let's see. Let's change to I don't know white. I think fourteen was okay. Let's check it again. Okay. Let's save it. Mm, and here the left margin is the space between here and over there here and here so well i uh, let's change it it's 60 let's put it minus 100 as, as you can see now it's all the way over here so now let's put it back from it was 60 right 60 all right so now the last one let's make the text color here let's make it i don't know i think if black is okay yeah let's make let's make the let's make a a pokemon team one yeah let's make that now that's over here the text color the border color we can make it red and the background color here white and let's save this save settings let's go over here and as you can see i just changed this so now the left margin is the one you can change it to all. Well, I can just show it to you, it's more easily. You can see it goes all the way over here. But let's put it when the back the first value. Sorry, sorry about that. Now let's check how this is looking. All right, we can add here a little bit of uh, space between the, these messages. So you have this slider over here. It's pretty like I don't know, 
eight. Let me have a look. All right. Now this looks nice. Okay, and now let's put. I have two candle blood your gift here. So let's. I have already have a uh, Pokemon one. And this one looks nice. I'm going to select this one. It work. Here, here, select, save. I have a little bit of lag. Let's wait a little bit. All right. So as you can see, we have a little big to big the Pokeball. So let's make it a little bit smaller. You can change the width and the height over here. Let's put it, I don't know, 90 maybe? 90... 92... 90... 91, I don't know. Looks okay to me. Now let's check it. <laughs> the... Let's see a little bug. Um, there you go. Now this is a little bit smaller, now let's move the image a little bit, okay? So, position X. X is horizontal, G is ver- well, do you know why? Why? Sorry, is, um, English is not my first language. Well, this one is the vertical one, this one. Yeah, I think it's Y, but well, whatever. Uh, let's put it over a little bit over here, 15, let's see, <laughs> it was too much, um, <laughs> maybe 21, all right, that looks nice, and a little bit at the bottom, uh, maybe 10, oh, let's save it, and refresh it. There you go. Mm, I think it's good. Uh, let's put it a little bit at the top one. Um, four, five, eight. I don't know. And save. There you go. Now it's looking a little bit nicer. Okay. Now you can also, if you don't want this image, you just have to, well, you just put X over here to remove the image and you just move the your left margin. So you can make this a uh, smaller and you don't have this, this space from the where the image needs to be, right? So, I think that is really nice already. And now this is one of the most important parts I put in. Well, if you came back from my first video, you see that I imported some animation from Animate.style. That is over here. But now, instead of you go to the page and you edit it from the code, you just use the custom fields. I put here, uh, I didn't put all the all the animations. You can edit it later. You can know how if you watch my first video, right? But I just put here the nicest one, nicest ones. Oh, so, I don't know, let's put here... Light speed, I literally like light speed. From left, and from out... I don't know, let's... To the right, right? Left to the right, let's see how that goes. Okay, now, as you can see, the animation just changed. It looks, a little, it looks a little bit nicer now. Now, this is the in animation when the message comes in and the other one is when the message comes out. And 
well you can see here when it comes out well let's taste it in a little bit so and one of the most <laughs> the thing i from i i decided to make this video right this is from the javascript if you put this to false and save it you will have the well this one i this was like my first tutorial it looks nice but it looks uh, it looks a lot better when it scrolls automatic automatically to the top right so let's put this to try again the settings and now let's test it taste it <laughs> test it not taste test it so let's test it right let's put over here it looks nice and now let's wait a little bit so you can see how it goes the message always host left the this container right so there you go okay let me i can change a little bit more oh well, yeah let me oh wrong machine let me change you how to change animation out right so let's just test it again okay let's wait a little bit so you can see the animation how it goes out so you can see the menu is working ah, there you go so let's go over here again over here out bounce out up so let's test it again over here and 15 seconds let's wait huh. and it goes so as you can see I well I, as I have already said I don't know if, if a lot of times I made this tutorial from you, this chat is a little less customizable, but you don't know, you don't have to know how to code, right? You just just go copy and paste it. If you want something more, a little bit more special or something, or if you, of if, if you don't know what the hell are you doing, you can come to my Discord. So that's all, thanks for watching and have a nice day.